Uh, in this tutorial, I will present an RFID reader called MyCode from Excel uh, technology. Uh, it looks like this. Uh, comes in different flavors. This one has a USB connector. It has a built-in antenna. It's very similar to the previous uh, device. But this system using a, this is a high uh, frequency system using a 13 point 56 megahertz um, frequency uh, so I have this uh, device I have different RFID tags which I will uh, use to demonstrate this system so basically uh, you connect this device uh, to your computer using a USB cable as the previous system you open the device manager to find the COM port that are uh, is allocated for this system and you can use the de device manager to see if the device is installed properly make sure that this um, serial uh, usb uh, driver called ftdi is installed properly uh, and of course go to the vendor's homepage to download uh, the data sheet and read information about the system for this system, you can also install a test software called Micro R V D M F I C, which you find on the web page. And so you can go to the vendor's uh, web page and download this uh, test software. And also here you find the necessary information and the necessary data sheets that you need to read properly before you start using the system. And you have installed uh, the test system, plugged in the device into the USB port and make sure it's ready to use, read the data sheet, then you are ready to start creating an application in a programming language that can read uh, tags from this system. So here you see the device manager. So I find my device under ports here and in this case it has been allocated com port number com3 so i need to use that information when i create uh, my applications also see that this ftdi driver has been installed properly and also find you find from the data sheet that this system uses a 9600 baud rate 8 bits, one stop bit, and no, no parity. So this information is found in the data sheet from this system. And here you see the test software that you can install and configure uh, the RFID system. So typically, and for this system, um, make sure it's connected depending on what kind of tags you are using. In my case, I'm using a, a Mayfair uh, um, 1k classic tag so I click on this one and then this pops up and then when I tap the tag on top of the reader I, I'm able to read the unique uh, tag ID uh, here you can also use this software to configure um, different parameters and also this system is more advanced than the previous system here you can also both read and write information to the different tags and also in order to make this system work uh, with your computer and a usb cable you also need to set some configuration you find information about it in the data sheet but basically you need to open this uh, test or configuration software as shown here so you need to um, select this one if you're using a classic 1k uh, my fair tag and then this pops up if you select rvd parameters and then for parameter number d just select this one and write to micro rvd here and then this window pops up and from the data sheet you need to set this parameter to 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 zero one uh, like this in order to be able to 
to read the unique unique um, RFID tag using uh, the USB cable. So just enter this value, click on write, and then you are ready to use this system. Next, when you have configured um, the device properly, it's also a good idea to use um, a program or a software for serial for debugging uh, the serial communication. There exists lots of different uh, software for this purpose. One software is called Realterm. So Realterm is a tool for capturing, entering and debugging the serial communication uh, between this uh, RFID device and your computer. You can download this Realterm from this web page. And of course you need to use this um, software in combination with the datasheet in order to learn more about the communication protocol that are used for this device. So this is Realterm. Another software is called uh, that you can use, which is similar, which has similar features like this Realterm. is called Yat. Um, so that's just another program that you can use. This uh, Yat program is uh, has the same feature as Realterm, but it's the use of int user interface is more modern. A third program is called uh, HTERM, which is very simple to use. You can also download it from this location. And then you can use this either Realterm, Yacht, HTERM or another program in order to, to make sure that the communication between the device and the computer are working uh, as expected. So here you see I use this HTERM uh, software in order to check my device. So I just need to select uh, the proper port, proper board rate, hit data bits, stop bit and no uh, parity. And then turn on this CTS flow control and then connect. And then you have, are able to communicate uh, with the device. So if you enter here, um, set, then you are able to read information about this uh, RFID reader. So by using that you can s uh, find out that this device is working properly. So yeah. the information re read back uh, from the system says the name of the device, uh, etc. Next, you can use this HR or a similar program in order to uh, retrieve uh, the unique RFID tags. So just tap the tag on top of the RFID reader and then you should be able to read the tag unique ta tag ID uh, based on or using this HTERM uh, system. In this case it's in a hexadecimal form so I just select hex here in order to retrieve uh, the unique tag Identific identifica identificator as a hexadecimal uh, number like this. So now that we know that uh, the reader and the tags are working properly, now we are able to start uh, creating some uh, code. So let's go to the code examples. So here you see an overview of uh, the system I have on my desk. I have this RFID reader with a built-in antenna, a USB connector that I connect to the computer using a USB AB cable. I also have a case which I put the reader inside this case to make it more robust. And then we have two LEDs, one red and green. So when I tap a tag, which you find here, I have different 13.56 um, megahertz RFID tags that I just tap on top of the case when I have the reader inside and then this turns green in to indicate that I have that I'm using a legal uh, RFID tag and when I tap it and it turns green then I should be able to create a program that are reading this unique unique uh, uh, tag ID into a programming language like um, Python, 
W, C sharp, etc. So let's start with the Python program. I'm using this uh, Tony uh, Python editor. I have created a similar Python program as the for the previous RFID reader. But in this case I'm using COM3. Baud rate is 9600. And in uh, for this system on for the tags I'm using consists of uh, four bytes so I'm just reading four bytes from the serial port and then I'm able when I'm tapping a tag on top of uh, the reader I should be able to read this unique tag ID so then I just create and convert it to a hexadecimal uh, value and then I just uh, change it to uppercases and then I just print it on the screen I sleep for one second and then these loops go into an infinitive loop and then I can just tap a new tag on top of my device so let's just uh, start and create this uh, just run this example so now I'm putting a tag on top of my device which you see here I remove it I put a new tag on top and you see I'm able to read this unique tag ID. I remove it, put a new one, and then you see I get a new unique tag ID. Remove it, and finally I put this fourth tag I have on top of the reader, and you see I'm able to read this unique tag ID. So that's basically the Python program. It's very simple, it's about 10 lines of code. And that's all you need in order to, to read and get this unique uh, tag ID from this uh, RFID reader system. Next, let's uh, take a close look at my LabVIEW example. It's almost identical as the previous example. I'm going to present the tag ID here in this text box. So when I run this program and tap a uh, tag on top of the reader, it should be presented here and then I can stop the program by clicking the stop button. So this is the user interface and this is the block diagram or code. So here I open the communication with the serial port, select the proper uh, COM port, COM3 in this case, select 9600 baud rate, data bits is equal are equal to 8, parity non, one stop bit, uh, etc. And then when I'm able to read information from the serial port, in this case 4 bytes, so when I read 4 bytes this turns true and, and if I'm not able to read any bytes it just do nothing, but when I'm able to read 4 bytes it goes into this case and then um, read information from the serial port uh, do some uh, um, manipulation here in order to be able to to present the RFID tag here in this text box. When I click the stop button, I clear the um, serial port and close it. And if there are some errors, it's presented here in the bottom. So let's just start this application. So now let's tap. A tag on top of the reader and you see I'm able to read this unique tag ID let's remove it and put a new one and then you see I'm able to read an another tag let's tap a new tag and you see I get a new unique ID and finally this fourth tag I have I tap it and then you see it's able to read this unique tag ID so that's how you are able to communicate with the USB RFID system using LabVIEW. So finally, let's um, go through the Visual Studio and C Sharp example. It's almost identical as the previous C Sharp example for the other uh, uh, RFID system. So I created a basic form here, a text box where I'm going to present the RFID tag button for in, in, initializing the serial port and a button for reading 
the tag and of course it should be improved by using a while loop a timer etc but let's uh, just take a closer look at the code so let's double click on uh, this button so here um, when the application starts it starts to initialize the serial port in this case com3 9600 um, baud rate uh, parity none eight data bits and one stop bit and then in the initialize button i open the serial port and enable this dtr feature and i just clear this uh, text box and then i click read tag it goes into this um, method so i just created a byte array here uh, read timeout from for the serial communication is a thousand milliseconds and then I read information from the serial port and then I just convert this byte array to a hexadecimal uh, number and then I just put the value into this uh, text box so let's just run this example So this is my graphical user interface let's start initialize the serial port now i ha have a tag ready i put it on top of the reader and click read tag and then you see i'm able to read this unique, unique uh, tag id this is a very simple program so i just need to initialize it every time of course it should be improved but it's just a basic program in order to to show uh, the basic principles so now i click initialize once more to clear this one find a new tag put it on top and click read tag and uh, now i'm getting this error so i just stop it start it once more initialize i tap and find the serial number i find a new uh, tag click initialize and read this uh, unique tag so basically uh, this is a very basic program that has some uh, flaws but it's a starting point for creating your own program um, for communicating with this um, RFID system so initialize and read the tag Like this so every time I just click initialize make sure the LED turns green then I can click the read tag that's why I got these error messages earlier because I was not a uh, I was not tapping correctly so this uh, program needs to be more robust of course but it's just a basic program to show the basic principles so now in each time just click initialize tap it make sure that led is green and then read tag initialize once more find a new tag make sure uh, the led on the reader is green then click read tag and then you get this unique tag id so basically this is a very uh, basic uh, studio c sharp program that are able to communicate with the serial port and present the unique tag ID in your uh, user interface. So that's all. So good luck with your RFID reader and creating applications. Either you use uh, Visual Studio, LabVIEW, Python, etc. Thank you and goodbye.